All right, guys. So there's something that I wanted to talk about in today's video, something I felt compelled to talk about in today's video. And this is referencing MTash's video from earlier today in reference to him going free to play and no longer supporting Genshin Impact money wise by pulling and, and spending money on the game. All right. And I felt the need to talk on this matter. And just a quick backstory. I have never watched one of mtash's uh videos this will be the first one that i watched today um just because it piqued my interest it caught my eye and that's not a knock on mtash it just it, it it just never came across for me to watch any of his videos until today and what he stated in that video i don't agree with but i don't believe he's wrong in what he was stating so just to give you a quick synopsis, just in case you did not see the video, which I'm sure you have, um, he stated that he's no longer going to be spending money on the game. He's not going to be supporting the game that way. He felt bad for, um, in a sense, you know, stating how much he spent and doing all these pulls because it may have enticed other individuals to pull that do not have the means to do so, who do not have the income. Um, they may have spent more than they were able to, you know, spent outside of their means where, you know, he was able to spend that amount of money and recoup it and then some. Um, and he felt bad about that and he didn't feel good about that and he no longer wants to continue doing that and he now has a free to play account that he's going to be, you know, grinding up and, and things of that nature is, is basically the gist of the video. You can definitely go watch it for yourself. I'll leave a link to it in the description below as well if you want to check it out. Um, and in that video, in a sense, um, and once again, you can watch it for yourself. He was knocking the Gasha gaming genre in a way and it's something that I just don't totally agree with like i mentioned i don't think he's wrong everybody's entitled to their opinions like my own that i'm presenting today um but i i don't agree with it and i'll give my reasons why and i do apologize if i pause a lot more often in this video than i normally do i just want to make sure that i'm saying the right words and i'm conveying the correct message that i want to convey right i'll also be referencing tectone's video that he made earlier about mtash as well so what I think first and foremost you have to understand and you have to get a full grasp of is that at its core, at its epicenter, Genshin Impact is a gacha game. Once you peel back all those layers of, you know, the fantastic scenery, the exploring, the characters, all of that good stuff, at its core, Genshin Impact is a gacha game. And it's a direct correlation from Honkai Impact 3rd, which is a gacha game a gacha mobile game which Genshin Impact is as well now I think where there has been some misunderstanding and where things may have gone a little awry is that Genshin Impact is a game that is cross-platform to PS4 console games as well as PC um, as well as mobile of course and so with that being said you're getting a lot of different uh, content creators and a lot of different players Specifically, the console content creators. If you look back at MTash's history, um, from the content he's created, mainly Destiny 2, which is a console game, of course, uh, he has that type of background, right? So getting into Genshin Impact, that has a gacha element to it that is at its core a gacha game. Once you really start to break it down and look at everything, um, you can see where there might be a, a bit of a misunderstanding and a, not a true knowledge of what's going on. So to give you a quick background on myself, I am an experienced Gacha gamer. Um, if you look back on my content, I covered everything from Dokkan to Blazing. I played Grand Cross. I played MiHoYo's other game, Honkai Impact 3rd, as well as now most recently Genshin Impact, of course which are all mobile Gacha games. I have that history. I have that knowledge, that background. So does Tectone. So do other content creators like Sekapoko and, you know, uh, Dark Skin Gaming or DS Gaming. Um, just to name a few. There's plenty of others, but just to name a few. Um, the reason why I bring that up is because I think it's fairly important to get an understanding when you're looking for information from a content creator 
that you understand their background, where they're coming from, and understand why they're relaying the type of information that they're relaying. Um, and I think the reason why Mtash said what he said and feels the way that he feels is because he doesn't have that background history or experience with Gacha games. Um, if you never experienced the Gacha game genre, then what you do and, and what you say and how you play the game uh, may impact you in a certain way, right? Especially if you're coming from a console background to where RNG, summoning, rolling, um, re-rolling, things of that nature is just not a thing. In the mobile gaming uh, area, especially in the Gacha gaming genre, that is just the norm. You're, if you have experience with Gacha games and history with it, then you have that full understanding that there are going to be banners. There's going to be new characters. The characters that they come out, the very next update is going to be in all likelihood better than the character that was first introduced when you first played the game. Power creeps. Um, things like that are all just, they all follow the same blueprint when it comes to gacha games and you can ask any gacha gaming content creator they all follow the same patterns right you have a unit that comes out one month the very next month it's going to be a unit that you want to pull for for most people and usually that unit is or character or hero whatever you want to call them is better than the month prior and it just continues to be that way. The reason being is because it has you wanting to pull each and every month. That's how these gacha games make their money. That's how they do business. That is why Genshin Impact is free. That is why Genshin Impact has made as much money as it's made already up until this point. And where I disagree with Mtash is where he doesn't have that prior knowledge. He doesn't have that history, but behind gacha games now by no means don't misunderstand me i don't condone gacha games in a sense as far as i think they are very risky i think they can be very detrimental and i think they can hurt your bank account as well as your emotional and mental well-being um they're dangerous they are they they really really are and i think a lot of content creators as well as just normal people in general have fall or succumb to you know a victim of gacha games at one point or another but at the very same time and this could just be me speaking gacha games are a lot of fun man they are they're they're a lot of fun and they can be extremely enjoyable you just have to be careful you just have to understand what you can and cannot do you have to understand what category you fall in. Free to play, pay to play, dolphin, whale, narwhal, megalodon, leviathan, whatever you want to call you. You have to understand where you fall in that tier, in that category. And you have to make sure you stay in your lane and you, you know, abide by your means. And if you don't have that understanding, it can be very dangerous. And so that is why when you look at certain videos let's take the Klee banner for example when Klee banner was about to drop you knew what content creator came from a gacha gaming background and you knew what content creator did not if you know what you were looking for so what do i mean by that well before the Klee banner dropped every or just about every i'm not going to say every but just about every content creator that came from a gacha gaming background who has gacha gaming history that made content on other gacha games, what did they do? They put out a video, and I'm just paraphrasing, but they put out a video that either states, should you pull for Klee? Is Klee worth pulling for? You know, should you, it, 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 it's somewhere in that realm, right? Should you pull for Klee? Is Klee worth pulling for? They came out with a video like that. I came out with a video like that on my channel. Um, I know DS Gaming did. I know, I believe Sekapoko did, and I believe even Tectone did, just to name a few. Once again, I know there's plenty of others, but just to name a few. If you look at Mtash's history, his video history before the Klee banner, or even when the Klee banner came out, you don't see that there. 
you don't see should you pull for Klee or is Klee worth the pull or anything like that because and I could be mistaken um, I'm looking at his history I don't see anything like that I'm not sure if it's in the video somewhere so if I'm wrong please correct me in the comments down below but I don't believe he did unless it's somewhere in the video I haven't watched his videos but I say that because content creators that come from a gacha gaming background understand how dangerous gacha gaming is but they also have the knowledge and understanding that not every player is going to be able to pull on every single banner it's just not realistic it's not going to happen and the last thing we want is for a um you know 13 year old who doesn't have a job who doesn't have any money but wants to pull for Klee, used all his primo gems, got extremely unlucky, because that's what's most likely going to happen, and then runs and grabs his mom's credit card and starts just charging it to try and pull Klee. Or you have that individual who is watching these guys pull thousands of dollars worth of pulls for Klee, seeing them pull, you know, massive amount of Klee's, a full constellation unlock, and believe they can do the same thing. But they can't because they don't have that type of income coming back. They're not making content on the game. They're not recouping that back. And so now they're in a hole and they're in trouble for themselves. So the content creators that have a background in Gacha games will pull put out a video stating should you pull for Klee and give you an honest opinion on whether or not you should. Or any other character for that matter. Give you an honest opinion of whether you should or not. Right? But if you don't have that background, if you're coming from like MTash, which once again, no knock on MTash, she just doesn't have that knowledge, that background. If you're coming from a background where you only play console games, you never had to summon for anything or pull for anything, um, then you don't know to put that out, right? And you don't understand the repercussions of putting on your thumbnail or something of that nature or in your, your title of your video, $7,000 for Klee or you know, going $2,000 to pull this unit, you don't understand the repercussions it can have on an individual who wants to try and emulate the same thing, but just cannot. Who doesn't have the ability to, who cannot. And so they get into a hole and they get into debt and they now they're upset, right? And then they're saying Genshin Impact is a horrible game, Mihoyo's greedy, um, all they want is your money. When Genshin Impact from the beginning has been one of the most free to play friendly games out there from a gacha gaming genre from a gacha gaming standpoint if you look at any other gacha games let's take you know grand cross as an example you need those units in order to be viable in the game and you have to continue pulling for those units genshin impact is a game to where you can have the characters that miHoYo gives you, that Genshin Impact gives you, and you can progress through the entire game, no problem, clear every content, and have a good time doing it as well. Genshin Impact is a game to where the only reason why you pull is because you want that character. The only reason why you pull is because you want that weapon. You don't have to have it. It's not one of those games, and I need to just, I, I, I feel like I need to make that very prevalent. Genshin Impact is an extremely free-to-play friendly game. You do not have to spend any money. It's a choice. And so us content creators that come from that Gacha Gaming background put out those types of videos like should you pull or is it worth pulling because it gives you an idea. It gives you prior knowledge. It, it gives you the ability to you know make a choice that's informed and it may help you decide whether or not it's worth it or not whether you should save because we understand that there's going to be another banner and those characters will come back please believe me Klee will be back venti will be back these characters do come back they don't stay away forever if you don't go for them when their up drop rate just you know passed you by trust me and believe me they will come back so you don't have to pull and in all likelihood they're going to come back on a better banner than they were on before when they first were around so anyways guys just to wrap this up, like I mentioned, I felt in, uh, compelled to make this video to let you understand that I disagree with what MTash said, but I don't believe he's wrong. I just disagree. And that's just because I have a different perspective. And I hope this video helped, especially if you stuck around. 
to get a better understanding of what Genshin Impact really is. It's not a bad game. It's actually a fantastic game. And it's a game that allows you a choice to choose what you want to do. You're not forced to pull on any banners. You're not forced to spend your entire savings to, to, get a, to get a unit or to get a character. You can save. You just have to be smart with what you do. And, you know, be cognizant of the videos that you're watching. Be cognizant of the situation that person's in. And be cognizant of the situation that you're in. All right. But anyways, guys, I, I hope this video wasn't too convoluted. I hope I got my message across properly. And once again, I'm not here to, you know, bash on anybody. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. And this was just mine. And I, I hope this helped. I, I just felt the need to defend what I make content on and to defend where I came from as far as content creation. And I hope this helps somebody in a way. And to give you a better understanding of what Genshin Impact really is and what it can be for you. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.